All right, welcome, and here we have a very severely buckle-worn Les Paul, and we're going to do the out-of-phase technique, which was first made famous by Peter Green, the original guitar player in Fleetwood Mac. And what you see here is two different replacement pickups in this Les Paul Classic. One has a traditional two-conductor pickup, which is in the bridge there. And then we have a four conductor in the neck position, which will allow us to electronically set this guitar's pickups out of phase when they're in the middle position. So you can see here the Seymour Duncan ties the south and north finish together, which is the white and the red wire, I think it is here. And then, of course, the black is the hot, which is the north start. And the green is the south start, which is sent to ground and soldered onto the back of that potentiometer. So let's get to work and carefully remove these two components. Take this one off the lug. That one came off pretty easy. So that's the black hot wire. And now you gotta be careful with all these wires in here to not touch them with the side of the soldering iron. Otherwise, you're, you're gonna be in for a bigger job. So that white wire coming from the three-way switch is really getting in the way here. And sorry about the angle. I need to get this in a position where I'm not touching those wires and uh, just try to get enough solder to uh, heat on that see there I touched that. <laughs> get enough heat on there to, uh, to pull that off there we go and so the ground wire and the the green wire kind of braided together at the end there and um, probably gonna just be easier to separate those as best we can and cut them with a pair of wire cutters. So I'm just pulling these apart here and we'll get that done. Get the wire cutters out short work of this and there's just enough lead there probably well, I'll use the cutters to just get a little bit of that plastic off to expose a little more wire twist it around so it's a solid strand and get that black wire now braided around the ground wire so we can re-secure that to the back of the potentiometer. We'll try to get this white wire from the uh, three-way switch out of the way. And these were both obviously aftermarket pickups. So yeah, let's let's get that green wire in its new place. There we go. And make sure you get enough heat to that so it makes a good connection and let it cool off before you let go of the wire there. And then when it comes to these uh, ground wire connections on the back of the potentiometer, I like to get them just in position so they'll stay there naturally, the wires. And then apply a little solder to kickstart it as well as get some fresh solder onto the connection. And then a screwdriver or something to kind of just keep that stable and in place, uh, which I'm attempting to do here. So you gotta leave it on there for a minute to get enough heat and make sure your soldering iron is hot enough to be able to 
warm that big blob and big piece of metal and there you see I got that just fine so that should be good to go now and uh, that's another example in the previous video I showed how you can actually flip the magnet on a two conductor when you don't have the luxury of having four conductors to to do that with so yeah the out of phase trick with four wire conductor Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.